God was putting my, my heart that I should quit smoking. I used to smoke cigarettes. Um, and he, he was like, you gotta lose the cigarettes or lose your voice. You know, I felt that. All right. yeah. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to church at the time, but I did have a neighbor that lived up above me. His name was Dave. And Dave had stage four emphysema. And Dave couldn't really have walked up and down the stairs. And God put it on my heart to go up and visit Dave. And Dave used to do stained glass work, so one day we would go through all of Dave's stuff and I would help him carry it down the stairs, because he was a bit of a hoarder. He'd keep a lot of things. And uh, so we were going through his stuff and there was this picture, and there was this picture, and it was so beautiful, and it was all sectioned out to make into stained glass with pencil, and it was Jesus, and there he was, and he had his head down, bowed, and he was in a river. And then there was John the Baptist next to him, John the Baptist had his hand up to the sky, and uh, he was praying, and it looked just like that. And I said, that is the most beautiful picture, can I please have that? And he said, that, sure, whatever, take it. And I did, and I kept it with me. And a, a little while later, a friend gave me a Bible, and I would keep it in my Bible, and I'd put it on the wall everywhere that I went, because I, I was trying to find a place to settle, and I put it on my wall, right above the Bible, and uh, one night, I, I didn't have a car anymore, so I was taking my bike into town to work, and I got, on, I, I got on a city bus, and I put my bike on the front, and I got onto the bus, and lo and behold, I was the only person on the bus. And so I started talking to the bus driver to keep her company, and so she could keep me company, and she said, you know, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I sing, I play guitar, and she said, oh, well, sing me something. <laughs> okay. And I started singing her a, a song that I had made up, a gospel kind of tune that I wrote because of my love for God, but I, I didn't put a name to it yet. It wasn't Christ for me when I wrote it, but I started singing her the song and then she fell right in a step and she started singing it back to me. And I said, your voice is so beautiful. And she said, your voice is so beautiful. You gotta come sing at my church. You gotta come sing at my church. And I said, okay, Greater Love Baptist Church. You come sing at my church. And I said, if I ask for Colette, they're gonna know you. And she said, well, they, they know me as a minister? They know me as a minister, and you, you ask for me. And of course, by the time that I, I got up enough bravery to show up here, she wasn't here anymore. But I, I tell you, when I walked in and I saw that picture, it was like I knew I was where God wanted me to be. I sang to her, and I, it's something I made from the heart. Shut 